I got a question here that came on email, and I, I thought this would be a good one to kind of share with you, Dave, uh, because it's um, I know you've 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 got some um, opinions on this. But um, Marco Topaz Topaz says asks um, I have the same radio. He's talking in regards to the FT eight ninety one. I heard you mention that you're running 50 watts. Is there a reason that you dial down the output wattage? And thanks for your wisdom. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, for when you're outside out running portable, you really don't need a whole lot of power. And the people that run QRP do just as well as the as the people that run barefoot. I choose to run most of the time. I choose to run 50 watts uh, with my and on HF because I find that to be a good balance between uh, power output and a uh, battery life. Uh, yeah. With a 50 watt with 50 watt transmit power, I'm drawing about you know seven eight amps uh, sideband, and so it's um, I can use a small 12 amp hour battery, or my 20 amp hour battery will last all you know last you know last all day. Get a couple hours out of my 12 amp hour battery and all day out of my 20. So um, that's the reason why I like to dial the power down. But um, I know, Dave, you like to go even lower than that. I do. I do. I take it to the next uh, the next level. <laughs> I, I, I very seldom uh, activate with more than 15 watts. Uh, you know, yesterday we were both sitting in the truck, and I was running CW with 10 watts. Mm -hmm. And the antenna on the back of the truck that I had was a shark stick. And on 20 meters, if you get spotted on the poda page these guys will come and find you if you're running one watt and they can barely hear you they, they oh yeah find you. oh yeah so that, so it's not like the old days where you you just pick a frequency and you go cq 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 and you you know for hours and hours and you hope that someone just wanders by with poda once you're on the spotting page they're they're coming to look for you and they know where you are mm -hmm. And that changes the whole game as far as uh, the challenges of low power. So, so I, I yesterday I was running ten watts CW with a six amp hour, uh, you know, LiPo four battery, and uh, I came home and I put it back on the charger. It took like twenty minutes and it was charged up again. Yes, so, so you're ready to go. Yeah, so I'm a big fan of low power. Now CW, of course, you can get by with a little bit less. Yep. But you know, run FT8 or or PSK31, the same deal. Ten watts, you know, that's all you need. Yeah, and I mean, even yep. and even on a single sideband, if the bands are open and you're spotted, twenty watts just creates a huge pileup. So, I'm a big fan of the lower power. I run, you know, when I run digital FT8, I'm I I, I dial it down to twenty watts uh, because that yeah that's uh, that being a full duty cycle mode that really choose the battery otherwise so um yeah eric and, and you can always take it down yeah i say like you said you can always take it down you know one level one level lower so yeah when i'm in fact uh when i'm on a pile up especially on 20 meters you know 20 meters is like i mean it's just like draws flies it's just <laughs> and, and so the so the pile up gets so big that it's difficult to manage and your best friend for trying to manage that pile up is the power knob on your radio <laughs> because because if you dial it down to where only a few guys can hear you uh it's much easier to work them yeah you know? yeah and, and, and i think the hunters get less frustrated too because uh you know if they can hear me there's a good chance i'm going to hear them and a good chance they're going to get worked pretty quickly so yep exactly you know, Buddy45 says low power is a lot easier for the activator than for the hunters. That is probably the case. Um, I know, you know, l listening to the pileups, I hear a lot of amplifier clicks and fans in the background. And <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you know, so yeah, a lot of the, a lot of those people are 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 running uh, running power. And um, you know, sometimes I'll take the I'll take the person that floats to the top of the pileup, and then sometimes I like to work around the edges. You know, yep. the person that gets in, you know, so that I'm I'm not favoring the kilowatt every time, and um and I always and always make sure to grab, you know, to, just to make that take that pause and see if the QRP stations are out there because they are um yeah they they otherwise they get they get buried in that mess. 
Yeah. You know, it's, it's real common in a pileup. You'll hear a partial call. So you'll come back and you'll say like the, uh, the whiskey alpha question mark station. And they were very light. You could just barely hear them. And when they come back to you, they're like S9. Whoa. Yeah. Wow, where did the whiskey <laughs> alpha and six two and you know, yeah, so so you know that when they heard when they saw the question mark, they know that I'm having a hard time pulling them out. Then they mm-hmm. kick that that kilowatt on and holy <laughs> smoke! Yeah. Eric was in uh, DC last month. A ten watt sideband enough to make twenty six hundred cusos in six days. I saw that video you did. Eric, and that was that's that's a pretty amazing haul. So it's uh, I don't know how you had time to do your work <laughs> with that many that that much you know driving around and that many that many cusos. <laughs> yeah. That's a that's that that's that's a great showing. So it's, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah so imagine yeah. imagine trying to do that like uh, six years ago before Poda, mm-hmm. and and you're running what was it, what did you say ten watts single sideband. You know, and he worked what a thousand guys or something. Try try doing that without spotting yourself and without parks on the air uh, hunters looking for you. It doesn't well, we, happen. It, it just was, doesn't happen. It was a challenge. I know Joe and I did a little bit. You know, back in 2016, did a little bit of the national parks on the air, and yeah, even running. Yeah, you know, we weren't spotting ourselves running 100 watts lead acid batteries and. Um, yeah, I think yeah we we went through a lot of battery power to t- <laughs> yeah. that that weekend. So yeah, and, and and when they set the bar at ten contacts for an activation, that was that was not a given back then. You know no. now now that's an eight minute process. You know, <laughs> but you get spotted. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, KH six brings the hams to the air. Exactly, they're wondering why they heard you so loud. <laughs> that's great that's great so yeah so that's yeah pick a power that's um that works well for you you know if you need to run if you need to run barefoot run barefoot if you need to um tone it down you know to conserve your battery life um you're 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 still gonna you're still gonna be aces kb9 vbr antennas are simple effective and affordable vhf and uhf antennas for amateur radio mers public safety and gmrs made in the usa with quality parts Get yours online at jpole-antenna.com.